All right, everyone, so I'm at my favorite local camping spot that I have. It's just up the road from where I live, down the hill, down by the ocean there. But I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these Opus trailers, and I just want to give you a quick walk around and tell you what I think about it. I think this thing is amazing. I just went on a few day camping trip with some friends with it, and now I'm just gonna kind of do a little walkthrough after I cleaned it all up and used it and figured out what I liked and didn't like with it. So, come check it out. So here's a real time view of popping up the airframes here. So basically I just flipped out both sides, plug in that little uh, airport, turn the power on, hit the button, and it's gonna do it on its own. It should pop up to about six or seven PSI. There's airframes going across. I think there's three of them and then two on the outside, something like five. What's really cool is it basically just does it on its own. Oh, it's already going up. That's really fast. Already popping up. Very cool. So uh, yeah, there's uh, valves on the back that you have to close, make sure they're closed. And you basically just hit the button. It does it on its own. Go ahead and go to the kitchen that you have right here. Go to your refrigerator and start going while the compressor basically just does it itself. Oh, there it goes. It's starting to pop up. Very easy, super exciting to kind of watch this thing rise. So there's these valves right here. You gotta make sure you close these. There's five of them all the way across. That's what obviously traps all the air in. And when you're done, when you wanna put it away, you basically just open those and the whole thing deflates on its own. Fold all the sides in and you're ready to go. It's amazing what, how, how they thought of this design. There's, uh, there's those tube frames going across and uh, basically double protection of canvas around it. You can unzip and get to the tube if you want, but there's double canvas uh, basically just protecting it in case you do actually pop one. And there's actually something really cool inside. There's more valves at each structural frame that you can, you can cut off. Whoa, it's going. So you can cut off the, uh, cut off the actual um, valve at, at each frame just in case you actually do find, figure out a way to pop one of these things. The other parts of the frame will stay up. Right now, all of them are open, so all frames are connected through one air uh, tube, but you can basically shut each one off individually if you wanted to, which is super, super pretty, pretty innovative, I would say. Let me just give it a little help here. Come on, bud. You can do it. Going up. There we go, popped right up. Just needed a little bit of little influence going up. Look at that, ready to go. Under three minutes. That's impressive.
All right, so you have your refrigerator and then you have your whole kitchen setup right here. Uh, four burner stove, got your sink with water, 40 gallon water tank situation, front and back, one and two tanks. I'll show you right here, actually. You got a front pump and a rear pump. You got two different water tanks that you wanna uh, get your water out of. And you basically just hook it up with this, this hose that they supply for you. you. Got yourself some running water. There's still some air in the system. But oh, there you go, looks good. And you got, this is actually, I this is the, these are the small touches right here that I love. Check this out. This thing lays flat and as you open it, it rotates open. And then that little stand right there kicks out and it stands up super easy. I love those little touches where you can put dishes up on there, whatever you need to put up on there. This thing weighs almost 5,000 pounds. Luckily my uh, Duramax little four cylinder can pull it with 37s on. I haven't even regeared yet and it's still pulling this up here. So it's a nice lighter setup than having a full-on trailer with a bunch of stuff in it so this is a great option if you want to go a little bit lighter yes it is heavy duty yes it is almost 4,000 pounds um, but it's uh, a little bit smaller profile and obviously uh, a lot more capable I'll talk a little bit more about the the capabilities of the suspension a little bit later but uh, that's basically why you want to buy this uh, you're not buying it because it's gonna be the most absolute comfortable thing although it actually is super comfortable there's a whole bed on this side and a bed on the other side and a full living area in the middle that you can arrange to, to sleep people but you're buying it for the off-road capability really what's really amazing is this hitch this hitch is unreal it comes with the with the whole trailer and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a better showing with that a little bit later you have it comes with the refrigerator there the Dometic it fits absolutely perfect in that little slot they have all of the couch cushions are basically laid flat in the trailer so that when all of the material and everything is folded in you kind of want to stuff it in the center and then you fold in those those bed sides on each side but basically you just have to set up a little bit and you get your bed on each side you get a great living area right here which is actually a lot more room than uh, than you think it is bed on the other side coolest part I think are the skylights so you can unzip all of these have yourself a little skylight this side right here rolls all the way up or you can just do the screen so this side also zips open and you can either have a couple different options of uh, what you want here let me undo one of them for you going all the way around so basically this is plastic right or you can unzip and get some air flow in and out basically just roll those up everybody knows how to do that in a tent just like that and it's really spacious in here especially the sleeping I slept in that bed a few nights ago and I absolutely loved it I was definitely super comfortable I'm 6'2 and uh, definitely can you know fit another person in there with you if you want so two on each side two people on each side and if you set these cushions up correctly you can have two three or four more people sleeping in here but um, yeah let me show you a few other things here and it comes with a full spare which is awesome this thing is definitely going to be needed if you really want to take this thing off-road maybe over some rocks some obstacles i see those guys in australia take these things in some wild places and uh you do want these tires that it comes with those pretty amazing that it that's an, that's not even an option that's what it comes with so let's go to the other side here you have your whole rack that you saw me open up this is the top of your trailer i think it's amazing how sturdy it is it is so strong and sturdy i'm pretty impressed with that and then as it folds down it anchors in and it locks down on the other side when everything's all folded up this is your uh, shower here I'm not gonna pull it out basically have an option for hot water cold water obviously and uh, you can have a whole shower so this little guy that swings out right here you basically lock this down hook up the uh, the system that's in there and you have yourself a shower on the other side of the uh, of the trailer there pretty cool so what else on the other side? There's more storage on this side. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I usually keep the um, extension cord and this is the charger battery right here. So 
So we've come to my favorite part about this trailer is the independent suspension. It's really pretty amazing. There's a hub on each side and a coil spring right there, dual shocks. This thing is amazing. It'll get you through just about anything your rig can pull it through. And I'm super impressed with this setup. Under here also are the water tanks. There's a front one and a rear one. I forget how much is in the front and the rear. I know it's a total of 40 gallons. That is a lot. And I know that's a lot of weight, but you gotta get yourself a nice rig to pull it, hopefully a diesel or something. But also you can get any mid-sized truck to kind of pull this thing, so. Another part I was gonna show you even closer was this hitch, check this out. So it comes with its own setup here. I forget what they call it, a rock and, rock and, not rock and roll, a lock and roll, that's right, this is a lock and roll. So basically these, uh, this guy is all attached to the trailer and you slam it into here and then you put the pin down. So this is part of the trailer and that can go up and down. This can rotate. This right here can rotate. It's got, it's a lock and roll. I love it. This thing is great. And right now I have the, the brake on. It has its own e-brake. So I have this on. Every time I stop, I stop it. This little guy, obviously you know what that is. You can just pull that down anywhere and uh, roll it around if you need to. It's super easy to roll around, I, I thought. But I really love that lock and roll system. It's pretty amazing. And we got some extra water, some propane up front. All right, so these are the airframes here. There's one, there's another one back there. There's one right here in the middle, two more on that side. And what I really wanna show you is what I was talking about earlier, these valving systems. So basically you can shut this off. Right now, all the tubes are connected. Uh, all, different, all the frames are connected, but you can shut this off just in case um, another frame goes goes limp you actually pop it somehow which I think is almost impossible you can tighten these up and basically isolate a frame that's going down to and you can also keep the rest of them up so that's the whole point of having all these shut off valves kind of within the frames which I think is super innovative they thought of everything and um, yeah let's move on all right so I set up the uh, the seats here it's actually quite impressive how many people you can sit in here comfortably. Uh, we set up the table, it just pops right up on its own little legs. We sat maybe six six people in here the other night playing cards, playing dice all night long while uh, so, you know, trying to get away from the campfire a little bit and then going back to the campfire. So it was super easy to get in and out. Um, I was actually quite impressed on how much room we had. And also, what's great are the speakers obviously, but there's storage, there's so much storage under these seats. And that's not even all the storage, so. There, up under that seat, there's, I mean, it's just unbelievable. There's more storage that I was sitting on just now. I mean, oh, there's your batteries right there. Double, oh man, I wish, I, I'm gonna give you the uh, the stats. I'll write the stats below. I don't exactly know them off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, this is a very, very impressive, huge trailer once you open it all up. And that's a rough review of the inside of the trailer. Here are some stats that I couldn't quite remember off the top of my head. Like I was saying earlier, this is the back of the trailer. And these are the air release valves right here. So let's pop one and you can see what happens here. So there's the outer frame going down already. Here's the other side of the outer frame going down. Things already collapsing. This is the center frame here. And there goes the whole tent already. Alright, let's get the rest of them. So basically within under a minute here, this is as fast as you can unscrew these things. This guy is already down, ready to get folded up on both sides. Put the, the cargo hatch down on top and you're basically ready to go. That's it. So one last thing I want to show you 
is my rear swing out bumper. It really complements having a trailer because it's a dual swing out. So it clears this whole thing, even when it's all opened up and the tent's opened up, it clears. Look how, look at the clearance on, on this. Clears right under, opens right through. So that's the best part about having a dual swing out bumper, right? If you had a single swing out that went all the way across your rear bumper, it would definitely hit that and you wouldn't even be able to open your tailgate. So best part about that, dual swing out, it fits right in with your trailer. Love that. If anybody wants one of these, let me know. I can make another one. Make a, maybe uh, make a few more of them. Me and my buddy Jesse. Just hit me up on Instagram. DM me. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below or message me on Instagram, ReadyRig4x4. Have a good one.